In this video, I'll show you how to automatically create subtitles in Caden Live using OpenAI's Whisper. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, I'm not going to go over the configuration of Whisper, but uh, this was introduced in Caden Live version 23 and that's the latest version uh, that was released on April 24th, uh, 2023. Now, to access the settings, you need to go to settings, configure Caden Live and then go to speech to text. Now we have two versions. We have VSK speech engine, and you can also download this. And I do have a tutorial on how to do this. And I also have Whisper. Now, the reason why I, I'll not go over Whisper is because I believe uh, the Whisper version was installed because I have subtitle edit going on and uh, it has the Whisper models and whatnot. So uh, this is what everything looks like. You can choose a model, tiny, base, small, medium, and you can see uh, they go up to large and depending on what you choose it's going to use more ram for example the large one and take more time uh, and then we've got the language you can set this probably english uh, has better results and then device cpu at the time of recording this video hope they are gpu but what i'm finding is that uh, the folks at caden live are using the default open ai whisper and it's this uh the the version that is right here people have come up with other versions of whisper there's whisper x uh, there's faster whisper there's table ts uh, there's jacks there's a ton of things out there that i believe if they incorporated in caden live can be faster uh, for example const me in subtitle edit uh, works with gpu and it's super super fast a three minute video file takes about five seconds to give you the subtitles now that's just uh, a brief overview of where you can actually set this up. And I believe it has a step-by-step -step instruction. And I'll leave the links below uh, where you can access this. Uh, it's this uh, Whisper, new in version 23.04. Uh, OpenAI Whisper is a speech recognition model for general use. It is trained on a large data set of diverse audio and is capable of performing speech translation and language identification. So uh, you can also translate from other languages into English at the time of recording this video. Whisper is slower than VSK on CPU, but it is more accurate than VSK. Whisper creates sentences with punctuation marks, even in basal model. So that's a good thing. And you can see a screenshot here. Uh, is what it looks like. Uh, once you actually open it up and you've never installed Whisper or anything, it's going to let you know that you need to install missing uh, dependencies. And it's, it's uh, I believe they go up to about 2 GB. Uh, so when you switch first time to Whisper, you have to install the missing dependencies first, about 2 GB download. So you better know that. And then it looks something like this. So once everything is done. Now, let's uh, click on apply, say OK. And then we'll just drag and drop our video here. OK, just continue. And then we'll just drag and drop it somewhere right about here. So there's our video, I can play it slightly. In previous versions of DaVinci Resolve, the subtitle background. So it has audio and everything. Now, there are two ways to access the subtitles. I can either click on this button here, edit subtitle tool. If I click on that, you'll see subtitles here and then you can see speech recognition right about here. We can also go to project and then click on subtitles and then you'll see the different options available here. What we're interested in is speech recognition. Now, this is what I'll need to do first. I'll click on uh, this particular layer, which is the audio layer, and then click on project, subtitles, speech recognition. And from this, the model, because I've already set up Whisper from the configuration in the settings, the, the model I want to use is a base. Uh, these others will take some time. And then say auto detect. But if you'd like to translate, let's assume you have this audio in Spanish, you can click on translate to English, and it's going to do that. Uh, so uh, we've got language auto detect, and then let's say select a clip, and then click on process. It's starting audio export. And this is, I believe it should be a two minute file, two minute 11 seconds. Uh, there it goes, it has hung a little bit, it's starting speech recognition. So it seems it's taking a couple of resources and there it goes. Let's give it a couple of seconds and we'll see uh, the results uh, right about here. As I've mentioned, I wish uh, they can incorporate 
const me whisper x faster whisper and so on and so forth so it's already done with the subtitles let's just click on close and we can actually try and listen to this uh, so what i'll do uh you can see the subtitles right here in the preview window i'll click on the subtitles and then click on styling and then click on opaque background uh, for a better look and preview uh, i think this is going to give us a better look and i'll kind of make this a little bit bigger so uh, if i play this in previous versions of davinci resolve the subtitle background did not conform to the text on screen that is it was not adaptable or it did not auto resize to the text on screen for example so there are a couple of issues for example here you'll uh, notice that uh it did not uh, like did not adapt to the uh is it there or this other section uh should be somewhere here it was not adaptable or it did not auto resize auto resize uh, you see what it's uh, written here or typed out outer so you can just uh kind of like zoom in slightly you can actually double click inside here and change this from here auto resize and then move to the next one and you'll see that the changes occur in real time uh the other thing is that you see the text is a lot you cannot define uh this uh from there but you can just let's see we get out of this if you do this you can just come here and then you can do something like an enter and we see it's going if it's going to actually yes it's going to reflect on screen so you might need to do that over and over again so uh we can play slightly resize to the text on screen for example the text on screen or the subtitle is is long and the subtitle background is long as well now i wish there was a way to kind of segment into like 37 characters per line or whatever uh, but this is very very good the transcript looks really good uh it speaks a lot of things it's doing the punctuations really well so it's something i recommend you test it out uh, open ai's whisper speech to text or the speech recognition uh, engine in kden live it's going to save you a ton of time uh and also just uh maybe probably the folks at kden live watch my videos as for the styling it would be awesome if you can actually just style like individual subtitles for example if i click on this one and click on this i can just say i want uh let's say uh, custom font color let's say we want something like this click okay is what happens but when you look at all the other subtitles they have this color but i only wanted this to be the one all that in future we can get other updates in kden live for the subtitles but this is highly welcome including positioning by the way uh, if i wanted to position this one subtitle block up here i wish that was possible and hopefully in future that is going to be possible but that is how you can automatically create subtitles in kden live using open ai's whisper I hope this video is of value to you. Thanks for watching.